Uh, one of the other things that's kind of been blown up this past week, uh, Zeke, you mentioned it, you played on Indie Saturday, is a game called Only yep. Up. Uh, this is kind of uh, getting over it-esque um, on Twitch. Well, very much so. Yeah. and, and Dude, my numbers shot up yeah. when I put that in as my, as my game title. I had no idea, like the following of this game. And yes, it's very much like get uh, 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 getting over it. It's like um, um, Jump King yeah. in the same kind of vein. It's like one mistake and you go back a long way and people are just on the edge of their seats watching you play this. And what makes it, <laughs> and it's unfair because what makes it like difficult is not necessarily like that it's 3D platforming. It's that it's the controls are not precise there it's it's floaty it's um it's kind of uh uh quirky on how like the the grab and pull up mechanic works because sometimes it'll like the collision of it it'll it'll like you'll jump too high and hit your waist when you need to hit like you know your nipple level or whatever to like do the vault yeah and you'll hit your waist and you'll like rub off the side and go and fall off. And you're just like, motherfucker, dude, really? <laughs> it's like, I obviously nailed that jump. I am well within like, and you just go because the collision doesn't, doesn't hit in. And then you're far enough away from it where it just goes and you just fall off and you fall all the way down again. And in particular, in particular, fuck this section because this <laughs> section, it's just, it's, it's not super difficult, but you have to go slow on this one. I mean, you don't have to, but it behooves you to go slow on this one uh, because of the curved pipe aspect of it. Mm. And it's just a, every time you fall down, you're like, God, I can do the fucking pipe section again. And you just got to go up this spiral curved pipe surface. And it's just dumb. <laughs> and it just like takes like, like this this section of the game like screeches everything to a halt but i mean once you get the hang of the controls and how floaty it is oh 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 speaking of controls let's talk about camera um they fucking the fucking default camera of this thing this is the player this is the camera you can move the camera to exactly where you want it but the fucking default is 20 degrees off. So if you want to go straight, if you if you have the default camera on and you want and you press forward, you'll go this way and you'll fucking fall off shit. That's a choice, 100%. That's, <laughs> that's so purpose. dumb. <laughs> that's by design. God. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. by design. And this jump, this jump in particular, I don't know if this is the time, but this surface is so like it's it's more precise than any of the other surfaces because it's the A top circle. is round yeah so you'll do the exact same thing that i was talking about you'll jump and you'll go boop, and you won't catch the ledge and you'll fall all the way down and it's fucking dumb <laughs> um but but once you get the hang of it and you know what like what the game expects of you meaning like you you kind of like adjust for its quirks it's way easier than uh getting over it or or it's it's less less um it's more it's it, the, the, getting over it i could never get it i didn't get it i never got it because it's a, it you control it with the mouse hmm. and i never could fucking figure that out this one is a little bit more uh accurate as far as like what you want to do and stuff and Got yes it. and to answer someone's question how did i try the bed i tried it one time and i and i i actually bounced up to a higher level and i was like oh that's what the beds do i'll never do them again um so yeah don't yeah they're like play skips. This, just just avoid the beds yeah um because they're they're too dangerous to be worth it they're skips though. um unless you're a speedrunner. uh but all that said, this game, I mean, it was fun. And I, I, I probably will go back to it, you know, every once in a while to see how, see how high I can get. But I did actually like, I don't know, my fourth or fifth, like 
true run, I guess, a, a run where I didn't die like in the first, you know, sections. I got pretty goddamn far. Like if you added up the sections that I had made it to previously, I like three times further uh, on my my next run because I kind of got the mechanics, I kind of got the camera, um, and I do like how in certain sections of the game they put new shit in there to fuck with you. So it's not just all climbing and stuff. There are there are certain sections of the game where um, they like put they blind you on purpose. And even the announcer says like, this is what people who uh, are, are um, visually impaired. This is what they see. And it's just a big like lens flare in the middle of the screen. Huh. And you have to like navigate uh, with that in your face the whole time. Um, so I like that. I like that. They add new challenge, like uh, uh, mechanics and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, the other, the one other thing that I didn't like, and I'm sure like all this stuff is, I'm going to say almost positively a choice by the developers. It is silent 90% of the time. Oh, there's no game like, audio? No music. Oh. There, I mean, there's game audio, like there's footsteps, like you, but it's like wind, like light, gentle breeze uh, sound effects. The music is only in like very tiny sections of climbing. The rest of it is just super like lonely. <laughs> And solitary and probably on purpose and the reason why i say that is because you get to certain sections of the game and they're like remember when dad left you when you were four years old and shit like that they introduced like some heavy shit story elements to it like you're Jesus. not expecting yeah it's like yeah it doesn't mean that you know your dad didn't love you or you're not loved or something like that and you're like what the fuck are you doing with <laughs> you're crushing my emotions right now i'm trying to climb this thing <laughs> nice yeah but yeah i mean all in all it's a very fun game and i can i completely understand why it's a a, a treat to watch for people because it's edge of your seat the whole time like you could i mean say save sections like this when you know it's an auto scroll and it just like you know tells you story and stuff but once you start climbing again it's you know any missed jump is a huge time loss and it's edge of your seat the whole time like even playing the game like when you when i got to this section even though i was on the cart i was still it was my first time on it so i was still waiting for a time when i had to jump to avoid like being knocked react. off or something yeah exactly so i was just like <laughs> and then i got to this section and, uh, and you know, you get to these platform sections and you're just, uh, and it's a huge, like you feel your shoulders relax a little bit and then you take a deep breath and then you're like, all right, on, onward, <laughs> on we march. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really fun, but it's also like, it's got mixed reviews on steam and I understand why. I mean, it's an asset dub, right? Like it's, yeah. U, it's UE five, I think. And everything in the game is just from the UE five asset store. Right, yep. like there's yep. they, they they just stack that shit up. <laughs> and that's that's what you're climbing. Uh is is all of that. Um I've seen some really I haven't watched much. I've I've caught a handful of clips. Um, uh, but there's some crazy stuff later on, I think, where like they make the floor uh invisible, and so you just have to guess like where the floor is or fall. Uh, yeah. that type yeah. of shit and it's like a maze yeah. oh that's that's rude yeah it's just just yeah. really rude things to do yeah. uh in these type of it's games. yeah it's trial and error stuff yeah yeah, yeah. um it, it's a little the other, thing, the other thing I, I i would like to mention and it's a it's you know different than like a, a, a there's a bigger difference than in other games of its ilk you can choose different paths as you go up they basically it's it's like it's like this and then two paths and then they come back together one path and then two or you know however many different paths blah, 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 but they come back together at one point and then they, you can you know choose which way you would like to to traverse this whatever structure yeah um and i thought that was i think that's very cool uh and uh makes it makes it a little bit different than than the other games because a lot of times in games like this there's only like one real way to go this one has definite branching paths they lead back to to a, a a similar like the same point everybody will hit these markers but to get there 
in the middle, there's different ways to go. And that's yeah. cool. Cool. Um, what, what are the, what's, what's only up charge? It is nine ninety nine. Okay. Price bucks. is right. Yep. Uh, on steam. Yep. Right. That's what, yep. That's where I got it. Okay. I'm not yeah. sure if it's on anything okay. else. I didn't, I didn't look. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, so, uh, buttered noodles from steam reviews, yeah, pretty concise, pretty good review of uh, negative review, but this, this is pretty true. This game is the definition of content meant for streamers to have something to do for a day and then be forgotten in a month. The, the controls while not great are tolerable. True. Uh, <laughs> but literally everything else isn't the game is not optimized at all. Within the first 10 minutes, I'd re-triggered the same audio track at least five times. True. Uh, and the text-to-speech narration, also true, it's text-to-speech narration, uh, feels ridiculously cheap and only good for a quick laugh before then getting obnoxious. That is also true. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's a pretty good way to say it. But I would, I, after playing it for, if you asked me in the first 15 minutes or 20 minutes of playing it, I would have definitely given it a thumbs down. But mm -hmm. after half an hour 45 minutes of playing it, i was like all right once you adjust it's not bad 